Welcome back again tonight. We're back here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. The showdown is in the books. Leo Rogers was your winner, and Jack Richards hung on for second place and out dueled Cal Wells. So Richards and Leo Rogers are in this all star field as 23 of the best competitors racing here in the world compete for a million dollars on the right to say they won season 3 Mountain Dew Race Series All-Star Race no points are on the line it should be a fun race for everybody just have fun to race for some money whatever they want to do for charities for their own wealth to spread around with their team whatever buy some hookers but you know anyway <laughs> we're here and here's our field everybody in the field like I said in the previous video got through Got into the All-Star Race already due to winning a race last season, this season, being a past champion or a past All-Star champion or winner of the All-Star Race, which we don't have any since they're both gone, the previous two winners, so no, that doesn't matter. And then the two people that advanced from the showdown are in this. So here's your field, 20 laps again, like I said, so we'll see what happens. Car Breen, Michael Causey, Zach Carlson, Jacob Rodriguez, Trent Dunham, Ralph Green, uh, James Qualls, John Ryan Powell, Jake Johnson, Aaron Reed, Blake Cooper, Michael Dawson, Matthew Rodriguez, Jake Rogers, James McLeod, Cody Birmingham, Taylor Orndorff, Dylan Poteet, Andre Castro, Zohar Munn, uh, Jack Richards, Alexander Dawson, and Leo Rogers. It's kind of crazy. I didn't even set the lineup out any specific way. And the two showdown winners and the people that advanced started in the back. But anyway, pace car is going off. Connor Breed and Michael Causey laying the field down to the start of this great event we have once a year. The All-Star Race, Mountain Dew Racing Style. The green flag's out and we're racing here at Charlotte. All-Star Racing, boys, let's go. Connor Breen edges out Michael Causey. He's going to try to inch away. Zach Carlson's on the bumper. He decides where you want to be here. And starting up front, actually looks like it helps. The key staying on the bottom and staying off the wall is the key here. It won't take long for somebody to bounce off the wall. Look at Trent Dunham down there. Trent Dunham, winner from last week's race at Darlington, has the moment, the momentum coming into this race. Anybody hit the wall yet? Look, 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 we got three wide. John Ryan Powell is under Ralph Green. Oh, and a lot of people. Oh, and James McLeod in the grass. Blake Cooper hit the wall back there again. I think James McLeod is. Ugh. He got the grass and kept going. No big deal. No, no fault. Go back up here. And Zach Carlson jumped under Connor Breen for the lead. Everybody's still in contact with each other. The field's still intact. It won't take long for it to separate. We might have another wreck. You never know. We have one the showdown due to a four wide situation. We'll go back here. Oh, and Jake Johnson to the wall. He's won two races this season. It looks like the handle's gone on that car already. Not good for him. Taylor Orn or Blake Cooper back here as well. There's Jack Richards trying to work his way up. Andre Castro, Leo Rogers battling with Alexander Dawson. John Ryan Powell slipping up a little bit. So hard back there, trying to get around Dylan Poteet. There's Jacob Rodriguez. So Michael Cosby's already dropped back to that 12th spot. Oh, we got him. Oh, Connor Green's in the wall. Jane Qualls on the inside of him. Michael Dawson. Oh, and Breeden goes way back there. Oh, he ca he collects Zohar Munn. Oh, and Andre Castro's in it. Jacob Rodriguez is was in it as well. Oh, and Zohar Munn cannot catch a break in that five car. Andre Castro, wrong place, wrong time. Connor Breen, the pole sitter, is wrecked. Let me go back and see this again. I saw it back there. I was watching this, and I just flipped up there to see what was going on. Connor Breen down the wall. He, was in, he wasn't just in it. He was digging in the wall. He's so down. He just stopped all at once. Cliff Jacob Rodriguez. Dylan Poteet's lucky to get away from that. So is Alexander Dawson. Zolt Harmon and Andre Castro had nowhere to go. You see right here, you'll see Jacob Rodriguez. He'll get clipped. That's what turns him sideways. Rodriguez actually hit the wall, so Rodriguez didn't get that lucky at all either. Zohar's following Dylan Poti right there, and Dylan Poti's probably thankful that car, the 29 or the 45, did not get in his way. He just kept on going. Zohar, Zohar nowhere to go. Look at John Ryan Powell. Great, great avoiding right there. Andre Castro just saw smoke. Put the 29. I'm going to Dawson slowed up and didn't hit him. And then the rest is history. Look at Jake Johnson. He was slicing his way through there. He, he's already hit the wall a few times. He's just trying to get whatever he can. He's like, see ya. I did split the field up. Ooh, that had a wreck right there. That 
that could be a factor in this race now, the slow cars, the damage. I don't know if they're going to go pit road or not. Zohar has a lot of damage, as well as Andre Castro. Breeden has some rear end damage. We'll see what happens with him. Oh, was that Carlson? Did not hit the corner right. I don't know exactly what happened right there. Oh, that's sort of everybody. Except Trent Dunham, who's gone. I completely don't know what happened. We just came back and that's all I saw. That Carlson was sideways. Did he completely miss the corner? That Carlson was the leader. Did he get a little help? I don't I couldn't see anything from that angle. I don't know if he the eight was I don't know if the eight got him loose or what. He bounced back off the eight. Bounced off the twenty-four. That was great save by Michael Dawson. And then everybody avoided that Carlson. Let's ride on board with Ralph Green and see what he saw. That is going to be a scary sight to see. And then they all start slicing through the 21. Michael Dawson, I'm not sure that 24, I'm not sure if the 24 has a lot of damage or not. That could be a factor too. He's in second right now. Trent Dunham, this is his working into his hands. So the thing is, he has to get around. Oh, Connor Green is nowhere near. Zohar Mudd just dropped out of the race. Uh, Andre Castro is. Still out there. Andre Castro is on pit road right now. Trent Dunham is way ahead now. I think Michael Dawson might have some damage. We'll wait and see what happens. Jake Rogers is going to take second spot. Matthew Rodriguez is stuck behind the 24. And here comes James Paul in the 28. Having a fast car, looks like, coming to the front. And Trent Dunham actually losing some of that lead he had. He got out to a huge lead. He had a about eight tenths of a second lead. And Jake Rogers and them are closed in on that eight car. Don't count that gun, though. I, mean, I don't. I don't know. Is this messed up right there? They, man, they cut a huge part of his lead that time by. The lead shrunk to three tenths of a second. I don't know. What's the deal? Does the eight car have damage? Trent Dunham was. I don't know. There's Andre Castro. He's back on the track. That could play a factor in a few laps. Oh, he's gonna be really slow. Everybody's going to have to go up high and pass him. You know, Dylan Pote and Aaron Green back there battling. Ooh, he hit the wall hard. The 56 is going to cut the field in half right there. And here comes Jake Rogers to the inside of Trent Dunham. Starting to question if there's damage on that 8 car. There was a bit of a difference in the speed over in that corner right there. I don't know what's the deal, but I really think the 8 car has damage. Tough break for Trent Dunham, unless he's just hanging back right now. We'll wait and see if he stays up here. He's going to hit this wall. I said only in third, but it, I mean, the 24 had to have more damage than he did. Michael Dawson got slammed into the passenger side of that car. We'll have to wait and see, though. Here comes, here comes Cody Birmingham with Cody, uh, James Qualls. They're going around Matthew Rodriguez. Cody Birmingham was really fast in that 93 car. He's looking for some hope this year. After losing his ride last year with four wins and lost the championship by a couple points, Cody Birmingham, one of the best drivers, upcoming drivers this year. Had a lot of hope for him this year, just not had a good season, not start or whatever. Looking to still break through to victory lane this year in this new 93 car he's driving. See Connor Breen back here. James Wall is slipping now. He's going to drop back to the sixth spot. And I think Trent Dunham's car is fine because he's actually coming back up. He's battling Michael Dawson trying to take the second spot back. I think Trent Dunham was just saving his stuff. You never know. We'll see what happens, though. Cody Birmingham looks like the fastest car on the track, though, in that 93. He's closing in on Dawson and Dunham. Keep an eye on Cody Birmingham. I'm going to go back to the field a little bit and see what's going on. Jake Rogers continues to lead. There's Connor Breeden with a lot of rear end damage. Don't know if they're going to catch him or not before the end of this race. We're hoping he does it. We don't want that to affect the outcome of the race. There's Andre Castro. He dropped to the back of this field with the front end damage involved in that multi-car accident earlier. As well as Jacob Rodriguez, who's dropped in the back. He's in 20th. There's Jake Johnson. He's in 19th. He cannot keep it off the wall tonight. There's Taylor Orndorff. He's not been a factor tonight. Michael Causey, outside poster, I believe. He started up front near somewhere. He's in 17th. Doesn't look like he has a good car. Leo Rogers trying to work his way up the showdown winner. Just when you put it in the field with all these cars that are usually winning all that, it's hard to compete with them. He's running 16th. Alexander Dawson's up there in 15th. That Carlson dropped way back to 14th. James McLeod battling with his teammate Jack Richards. It's Leo Rogers on the wall. 
I bet Leo Rogers happy that didn't happen last race. Jake Johnson was in the wall again. But James McLeod just cannot get anything going. And so there's that Carlson. Ralph Green's dropping back. He's just he think he's being I think he's ready for next week's race. He's looking points racing because he came in here as our point leader, tied with Aaron Reed, but with the win he gave him the point lead. Ooh, Alexander Dawson, is that Carlson gonna make a run? I think Ralph Green's just getting ready, practicing up for next week. So he is the point leader. There's Jack Richard. He came in third points. I think he's coming in here trying to win it. Blake Cooper, Dylan Pote, John Ryan Powell, Aaron Reed, there he is. And his teammate James Paul, seventh and sixth. Matthew Rodriguez, Trent Dunham, Michael Dawson, and Cody Birmingham has moved up to second. And he's behind the guy that took the championship from him last season. He's right behind Jake Rogers. This could be interesting. Two in the 93, battling all out Homestead for the championship last season. Another 1 2 in the All Star race. This should get really good between Jake Rogers and Cody Birmingham. We'll see what happens. Six laps to go. And as we've been looking, the fastest car on the track has been that time by actually. They were basically identical lap times, but that 93 has been more consistent and faster. Still about a five, six car. It's a five car battle up front for the lead. You throw in Dawson as well with Trent Dunham and Matthew Rodriguez. And it looks like Michael Dawson's putting pressure back on Cody Birmingham for second. He's right there. He's getting a little draft off of that 93 car. Jake Rogers just cruising up there. It's Connor Breeden. We'll see how far he's ahead of the leaders. He's right there. There comes Jake Rogers now. I don't think they're going to catch him. That's a good thing. I don't think they're going to catch Andre Castro as well. Jake Johnson has a lot of damage back here. You see a couple of the Everham cars. Leo Rogers and Ralph Green teammates running back here. I think they're more worried about the All-Star or the 600. Looks like it. Zach Carlson. Let's see what he's going to do. Ooh, he about got hooked by the nun. Jacob Rodriguez turning around. Taylor Orndorff. Get up here some more. Blake Cooper, Dylan Pochi battling for ninth. James Paul is dropping back. I think he's got a lot of damage. He's dropped back now to the eighth spot. John Ryan Powell, very solid. Aaron Reed, Matthew Rodriguez with Trent Dunham. Oh, Jake Rogers way out of the groove. He just gave up that huge lead he had. Cody Birmingham right there, but here comes Michael Dawson to the inside of Cody Birmingham. Three laps to go. Jake Rogers. Has the least open. Cody Birmingham is going to give up second now. Not what he needed. Matthew Rodriguez trying to get around Trent Dunham for fourth. It's a five car battle for this win, it looks like. Trent Dunham's going to cut back down. Cody Birmingham way up the track as Jake Rogers pulls away once again. And Dawson's to second. Here comes Trent Dunham trying to take third. He doesn't get the pass. Two laps to go for Jake Rogers and this two team. What could you say about this Miller Light team? For the genuine light, it's no light anyway. What can you say about this team though? They wanted to, they got a lot of pressure this year to repeat and everything, to do what they did last season. And the thing, last season, he beat that 93 car with Zohar no Mundin in that car at Richmond. He beat him to get in the chase to get the one of the wild cards with the final wild card spot by two points. That's the, it was only two points he only made the chase. And he went on to win the championship by one point. So there's a lot of puzzles connecting and everything. Pieces connecting. This is crazy how this is going down. But Jake Rogers has taken the white flag. This is the last lap. Cody Birmingham's going back to second. Trent Dunham's trying to take third from Michael Dawson. Matthew Rodriguez tries to fall. I don't think Cody Birmingham is going to be close enough to make a move. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Jake Rogers comes up the final corner. Season two champion will win. Season three, Mountain Race Series All Star Race. Jake Rogers is your winner. Cody Birmingham gets second. Trent Dunham third. Matthew Rodriguez fourth. Michael Dawson fifth. Aaron Reed 6th, John Ryan Powell 7th, James Paul 8th, Jack Richards 9th, and Dylan Poteet 10th. Here's Blake Cooper and the rest of your field. Congrats to Jake Rogers and the whole team for winning the All-Star Race. Got them locked in for the All-Star Race again next year if they don't win a race, but they are the past champions so they got that as well. But here's your final results. I'll back it up so you can see everybody. So Harmine was out of the race from that wreck. Andre Castro was two laps down. Connor Breen was involved in the wreck. And then Jake Johnson had a lot of issues hitting the wall. So there's everybody finished. And I hope you guys enjoy the All-Star race. And congrats again to Jake Rogers. The whole two team winning the All-Star race. I will see you guys for our next race here once again at... I'll see you guys here once again at Lowe's, Charlotte, whatever. See you guys for the Coco 600 next time.
Brace 12.